Okay, hey there everyone. We are graphing uh, quadratic equations um, using what's called the five-point method. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll take you through it step by step. You can maybe pause that and write down those as notes. I'll be adding to them a little bit. All right, so if we have uh, an equation, let's say it's y equals x squared minus 6x minus 7. Okay, I don't have much room. I want you to be able to see everything all at once, so I'm squeezing it in there. Um, pay attention to what's the A, the B, and the C. So A is an invisible 1, B is a negative 6, and C is a negative 7. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the axis of symmetry. Every parabola is symmetrical um, about a vertical line that's called the axis of symmetry. So it has that type of mirror image relationship. Uh, to find that axis of symmetry, use the magic little formula minus B over 2A. So in this case, just fill it in exactly minus well, what's B? It's a negative 6, so fill it in. 2 times what's A? A is a little invisible 1, so we're going to put in 1. That negative negative 6 is a positive 6, and that's 2, so that equals 3. Okay. Just remember that whatever the sign is just switches, so it's pretty easy to do in your head even. All right, so we have an axis of symmetry at 3. 1, 2, and there's 3, so that gives me a little bit of room to work on the right side of the board there. So I know somewhere along that vertical line is our vertex. So the next step is to find that vertex. How do you do that? You just plug in that value. Just take that 3 and plug it in for x in each of these places. So my y value then is going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 minus 7. So just show that. Do the math. 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 18 is negative 9. And minus 7 more is negative 16. So I'm way down here at negative 5, 10, 15. Right there is my vertex. And label that 3, negative 16. Okay? So that's the first of our five points. Then find the y-intercept. This is wicked easy because all we do is we look at the c-value because when x is 0, we're on the y-axis. So it's just going to be y equals 0 squared minus 6 times 0 minus 7. So those always just drop out. Look at the c value. It's minus 7. Well, there's my 0 comma minus 7. That is my y-intercept. All right. So parabolas always have a nice little curve that goes up there, so I know it's going to go something like that. Okay. Well, because they're symmetrical, we can now find what's called the symmetric point. However far I went here from my axis of symmetry is how far I'm going to go there from the same point to find another mirror image point. My parabola is going to open up like that. Well, what is that point? It's always going to be the same level down, so I know it's going to be something comma negative 7. All right? And well, what is that something? Well, you just ask yourself, what was this axis of symmetry number? You can write it right there. That's 3. I had to go over 3 units, so I'll go over 3 more units. It's always twice that axis of symmetry, so it's 6 comma negative 7. So now I found the symmetric point. Okay. Then finally, you're going to find the intercepts. All right. And that is when you get 0. So we're trying to figure out when will an x value that I plug in here gives me 0. So if I need 0 coming out, I can just write it like this. 0 equals x squared minus 6x minus 7. Well, the trick here is just to factor it, break it down into two things that multiply to make that, because we know that if two numbers multiply to make zero, one of the two numbers has to be zero, and we've solved it. So how do I factor this? This is why we spent those days learning factoring. It's got to be x and x. Two numbers that multiply to make negative seven that add up to make negative six are negative seven and one, plus one, okay? So I've now factored it, and then I say, when are these equal to zero? Well, when each of these individually is equal to zero, there will be, guess what, a zero. So I plug in negative 1, and I get 1. Uh, plus 1 gives me 0. And if I plug in a positive 7, there plus negative 7 will give me a 0. So negative 1 is my solution to this one. x equals negative 1. And x equals positive 7 is my solution there. So there's 4, 5, 6, 7. And these are my remaining two points All right, of my 5 point parabola graph. Good luck.